Now we're going to talk about, you know, some 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 a bit of sad news, but we're going to hope to turn it into a positive. Um, you know, sports in general lost kind of one of the greatest commentators of all time, Vince Scully, 94 years old. One of the definitely one of the goats of of commentary. You follow baseball more than I do and and I know who Vince Scully is. Um I think he, I believe he held the record for the longest time a broadcaster work with a single team. Mm-hmm. That's that's pretty special. Um, so I want to give our condolences out to him, man. Do you have any words to say about Vince Scully before you kind of turn this into hockey? Legendary Dodgers um, yeah. commentator. Honestly, every time I listened to him, he would make me smile. Honestly, mm-hmm. one of one of the best commentators, not only because he understood the game so well, but he was just a joy to listen to. Very positive person. And yeah, my condolences yeah. to his family. So, you know, in sort of, we thought, what can we do um, to talk to honor Vince Scully, but also kind of bring it in hockey into this. And we kind of thought, talking about Vince Scully is one of the most legendary broadcasters out there so i thought let's talk about our favorite hockey commentators and our favorite moments from them so let's start with you and who's your favorite commentator and what's your favorite moment yeah so i admittedly this this um this moment isn't going to come from my favorite commentator but it is without a doubt my favorite commentating moment because Mm -hmm. it still gives me goosebumps every time i hear it i mean we're gonna cut to it now let me know if you guys remember it so we'll cut to it and then we'll Okay, come back in like three, two, one. All right, so if anybody has ever watched hockey before, you will know that's Chris Cuthbert's um, explanation of the golden goal Cindy Crosby scored at the 2010 Olympics mm-hmm. in was where, Vancouver. Where, in Vancouver, yes, in, in Vancouver. It was honestly one of the craziest hockey moments of my career watching. Yeah. It like it gives me goosebumps to even talk about it now. Uh, I remember that time Sidney Crosby was struggling. He was. He was struggling. A lot of people were saying he shouldn't have been playing on that first line. Coach sticks to his guns, puts him out there. Aginla gives him that incredible seam pass from the from the left corner. And before you even see the puck come on Crosby's stick, it's, it's hammered through um the five hole of was it Ryan Miller? It was Ryan Miller. Was it Ryan then, Miller? Yeah. And I will I will never forget it. Even doing research again, I listened to the to, to Chris Cuthbert's talking about it and like it, it brought tears to my eyes. Yeah. No, that, that's definitely for any any Canadian hockey fan who was kind of I don't know over the age of six or seven in 2010, like that that's just a a huge moment. Like they you can always just start playing that, and everyone's gonna know what it is. They have a they have a freaking exhibit at, for it. So the Hockey Hall of Fame 12 years later, like it, it's a huge moment for hockey in Canada and just hockey in general for for hockey fans. So that's yeah. uh, you can't go wrong with that. There choice. was just so many like legendary things about it. The the Olympics are in Canada. You have the best Canadian player. Like, quite possibly in history of our generation, for of sure, generation, playing think. against their rivals in Team USA in overtime at a time when Sidney Crosby wasn't playing well and just shuts all the haters up and scores yeah. probably the most important legendary goal in Canadian history. Uh, it's up there in terms of, like, this generation yes. that, that we've been alive for without a doubt. Without a doubt, the biggest goal for, for Hockey Canada. I'm uh, interested to hear... Your favorite commentator? Yeah, call. So my favorite commentator growing up was was Gord Miller from TSN, just because he used to call and he still does actually call the World Juniors. And like for anybody who's Canadian, even in the states, the World Juniors is still a big deal there. But that's a staple of the holiday season here. Usually, COVID's messed that up, but holiday season means World Juniors to hockey fans. And so, kind of linking to that, I'll give my favorite call from Gord Miller right now. That. Starting in three, two, one. So that was a legendary goal where Jordan Eberle ties the game. Six seconds left, semifinals against Russia in 2010. That it was even sweeter because Canada Russia, huge rivalry. I, growing up, for some reason, I think it's because I used to watch a lot of like the 72 Summit Series documentaries as a kid. I always disliked Russia more than than the States for whatever reason. Even though the States are probably the bigger rival now, and Canada also went on to win that tournament. It's just such a moment you. I don't, I don't know. Tavares was on that team, too, so it has a loose connection now. Um, there's also a funny backstory be- behind that goal. So I was watching that at my cousin's house, and my cousin had a – like a, my family was over and then also had some of his friends. This was – I think I might have suffered a concussion that day <laughs> because – so my, I was sitting next to my cousin's friend, and I, when that goal went in, 
I jumped up, and at the same time, he like threw his arms in the air and caught me clean with an elbow right on my head. It was just such a crazy moment. I still remember that to this day. So the call, the moment, and also physical injury played a role in making that one a memory for me. Um, so yeah, I think Gordon Miller is one of my favorite commentators, probably my favorite commentator, and that's my favorite moment of his. I remember when that goal went in. I like I initially didn't even cheer because I thought it was a mistake. It, like it happened so bang bang. Such a quick. The, when the puck was dropped, ten seconds, and then six seconds was in. It was I'll, boom. It scores, and then I remember um, Eberly goes um, to to the side of the boards and like scrapes the ice yeah. and gets tackled. But like yeah, I, goosebumps once again. Just talking about this gives me gives me goosebumps. There have been some crazy moments in Canadian hockey history that we've all been blessed with. Yeah. Like what a time to be a hockey fan. One hundred percent. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please hit that like button and subscribe for more content and find the link to our full podcast and all our socials in the description down below. Also, don't forget to turn on those notifications to get live updates on new videos that we release.